Hey everyone, this is Ash Cool. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch Joy Cons. So, apparently, it's a big issue that um, these nice little Joy Con controllers here that uh, Nintendo has made for about $100 are having some problems. I guess when you drop them, you have problems with them. Don't tell Nintendo I dropped it. So, the biggest issue that people are having is what they call the, the Joy-Con Drift. Well, for those of you unfamiliar, the little sticks here uh, on the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, after being used quite vigorously, quite often, quite frequently, uh, the little cheap Chinese parts tend to go out. It causes the controller to move when you're not inputting a direction. Well, let's, let's sit and think about this for a little bit. These Joy-Cons are roughly about $100, $80 or more. Uh, the Pro Controllers were discounted to about $60, and they, had this, they have similar problems, which I'll get to in a minute. But these Joy-Cons come with the system, and they are very likely to break down. I'm not a doctor. I, I can't tell you why, but I assume it's because they use really cheap Chinese parts. This is a, you know, 2017 Nintendo Switch Joy-Con that, you know, came with... Uh, actually, these are at aftermarket. I have the neon ones for my Switch. I got these as an extra before I got the Pro Controller because there were a lot of games that used Joy-Cons. And I thought, oh, that's cool. I can get Joy-Cons. They had different colors. And, yeah, it was a real eye-catching kind of propaganda thing that they used. Oh, yeah, let's get some Joy-Cons. Let's do this. And you spend, you know, several hundred dollars on a couple of sets of Joy-Cons. They release different colors. They're even coming out with new ones pretty soon. But why would you want to spend $100 on something that's going to fail? I have something here. The Nintendo 64 controller. The original N64 controller from the you know mid-90s. This thing is over 20 years old. I can plug it in and I can use it today just the same as I used it then. There's no faulty anything. There's no breaking down. Yeah, I'm sure a few of them broke down, or they were beat down, or you pissed on them, or you spilled water, or booze, or whatever you did, or you threw it. Yeah, it's going to have some problems. This one is a, this is the one that came with my N64 that I got for Christmas in like 1996 when I was a kid. It still works. I have, you know, 15 of these. They all work. No problem. Another thing. This is the NZAP 1985. This is right here, 85 on it. You plug this thing into your SNES, and you can shoot them ducks, you can shoot those clay targets, you can shoot whatever. This thing works just as good as it did when it came out, okay? This is, you know, I'll probably 30 years old now. There's no problems. I can plug it in, and it works. This is a device that's, two, you know, less than two years old, maybe two years old. And within six months, it breaks down. So here's my story. I'm big into pro controllers. I have big old man hands as I'm a man, and I can, you know, I can, I can grip this entire thing with my hand. I have, I've had at least ten pro controllers in my life. I have six right now. Two of them, in recent memory, have broke down. I got the Splatoon 2 one on launch, and the Xenoblade one also on launch. Within two months of having both of those controllers, the right, left, this is my left hand. The left joystick has gone out. Like I said, this is a 20-year-old controller. There's no problems here. All the buttons work as advertised. You plug it and it works. This is 30 years old, if not you know, close to 40. It works. Why is something that's $100 brand new going to fail on you in two months? I'll be the first one to tell you that Nintendo doesn't want to fix anything after two months. If you buy a controller or Joy-Cons and after two months you say, oh, hey, my Joy-Cons are drifting or whatever, they say, oh, sorry, it's not under warranty, it's not our problem. Well, they offer you a service. You can send it in and for 40 bucks we can fix it for you. Why not just buy new Joy-Cons? Why not just buy a new Pro Controller? The problem isn't in paying to get it fixed or paying to get a new one. The problem is that if you spend X amount of money, which let's say it's $100 roughly, on a Pro Controller or Joy-Cons or two Pro Controllers or two, or, you know, two sets of Joy-Cons or even a Switch for you know $300, do you want it to break down in, in six months, in 10 months, in a year? Because after a year, the Switch and all of its parts are out of warranty. So if you buy a Switch today, a year from today, the warranty expires. 
because they, they can tell when it was bought and sold because of the serial number on the back of it or the parts inside the drug house. I'm not sure how it works, but they know. What I'm trying to say is that, is it right? Is it morally right? Is it okay? Is it wrong to sell something with cheap parts that's going to break down in two months to a year or make it right the first time and it lasts forever? Think about it. They're doing a class action lawsuit, which I'll link in the description. Uh, if you have Joy-Cons, um, you can file to be a part of the class action lawsuit. And the class action lawsuit is basically a bunch of people get together and sue someone. And uh, hopefully everyone comes out on top. Uh, I, think, I know several hundred thousand people have joined in on this. Like I said, I will link it in the description. But it's, um, it's disheartening to think that a company that's so loved and so well esteemed is um, under such fire for such a crappy product. And that's what happens when you, you outsource your labor to China and you pay these little, you know, Chinese children sex slaves to build your, you know, $100 controller that costs, you know, $5 to build and they're built with the cheapest parts possible and not built to last. But I don't know. These are just my thoughts on it. Uh, I'm trying to introduce an argument. Like I said, these are, you know, tw more than 20 years old here. Uh, they still work as they did initially brand new. They don't break down. Um, the failure rate on these is pretty low. And if they fail, like I said, it's either water damage you've thrown them or you, uh, you know, you pooped on them or something. But these things right here and these other pro controllers that I have that, um, you know, like this controller is not even a year old and uh, it hasn't gone out. But the other ones I've had have. So, um, is it worth the money? Is it not? If you want to get on the class action suit, check out the link below and you can, hopefully you'll get caught, you, you know, you'll come out on top of that. Uh, I can't make any promises. I'm not a, I'm not an advocate for that, but, uh, if, if you have problems with joy cons drifting, um, check out the link in the description. This is dash cool. And, uh, I'll see you next time.